Yo, what's going on guys? Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be reacting to the brand new Le Mans Ultimate video that's been done on their channel which shows what's coming in September and what's going to be coming for the future of the game. So we're going to be reacting to the update. So um, yeah, let's get stuck into the video. Welcome back Le Mans Ultimate fans to the overview of our <coughs> second major update. Last time out in June we updated the game to incorporate some of the more requested features in our forums. A radar, Replay so I'm going to be I'm going to be pausing it. And improved at, um, race start system. Art start. Following that major patch, uh, interesting. We released our 2024 season pass and first DLC pack in July, featuring two exciting new hypercars: the 2024 specification Peugeot yep, yep. 9X8. I haven't really used the hypercars that much so far, man. I need to get into them. Alongside the legendary Imola racetrack. For this release, we're combining brand new features and content updates. All right, then. Let's take you through what you can expect in this major release. Number one, co-op mode. We've been talking about mode. this one for a long time, and it's finally What's this here. like? What's this like some, some F1 type, type jazz? Co-op mode, yeah? All right. Co-op is an asynchronous multiplayer experience that will allow you to race as a team of friends competing in a race against AI opponents at a difficulty level and time of each player's choosing. Oh, it's we did AI. initially plan for this feature to be available in release, but we went back to the drawing board. We needed to refine the feature with greater... Wait, so hold on, like, so... Bro, I know you can, you can set up weekend races for in single player... But there's not there's not really a, a championship on the Mons Ultimate, so interesting, interesting. Like, you know, I haven't actually done a race against the AI. I need to see how difficult the AI are, how fast they are, because if it's a case where the AI are fast enough, then sometimes it can be a little bit fulfilling if you just do like a if you want to do a race. But if the AI is just slow and it's just they're just easy to smoke, especially at a certain level, then I've never really been one to be interested in single player. But co-op mode is something that I've seen. Previously on like the F1 games has worked pretty well, so it's interesting. ...to meaning, and hopefully that's what you'll experience in this first public release. This new game mode, powered by our online platform Race Control, will see you register for events with time-limited availability and compete on the global leaderboard as a team. Invite your friends to compete oh. in an endurance race where you will be given the option of switching drivers during pit stops. Okay, driver swaps. driver swaps, you'll be able to message your teammate about your thoughts on the race so far and how your stint went. Each lap of the race accumulates points based on a number of criteria including your difficulty level, the assists you choose or lack of them, and driving clean laps. We add these up and give you a place on the leaderboard which, in the future, may be used for qualifying for events such as the 24 hours of Le Mans Virtual or for prizes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, hey, they're going to get people absolutely banging out this co-op mode, mate. Because if, if it is a thing where you can compete for points and that's how you're going to qualify for the big, I'm I think he's talking about the esports events, um, which tells me that they generally are looking to bring the esports events over from R Factor onto Le Mans Ultimate. The, the virtual 24 hours was previously ran on R Factor. So it looks as if they're trying to bring it to LMU, if that's what he's saying. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, I might have to call up the boys, mate. We might have to get on there. Get on that leaderboard, mate. In a beta state, there may be some issues, but your feedback is going to be invaluable. Endurance racing is at the heart of Le Mans Ultimate, and we're looking forward to seeing how you compete with friends online to complete these objectives. Or is it just... No. Number two. Hold save on. and load. I wonder if it's just how many, how many people can actually compete, how many friends can actually... Um, join i hope it's more than two i hope you can put as many in as you well not as you want because obviously you don't want to have like eight drivers but i hope it's more than two <clears throat> the work on enabling longer races in le mans ultimate also carries over to the single player experience we've reworked the race weekend functionality to allow you to save your game mid race you'll now see that when you pit in single player the game will pause and bring up the pit menu so now you have more time to perfect your strategy rather than fiddling around with settings on the straights. Interesting. You can save your game during these pit stops and return with all of your progress intact. We also keep hold of up to three auto saves when you choose not to manually save at a stop. That, that's decent, then. Number three. And that's decent. Season select. We've introduced a season select 
so that you can choose your opponents from either the 2023 or 2024 season. It's worth noting that for now the 2024 season features GTE cars instead of the GT3. Ah. We'll progressively replace those with the first cars of that category expected at the end of this year. Okay. Number four, car select. You'll also see we've replaced the car select screen with a more refined version. As we were adding more and more liveries and cars, it was becoming a little crowded. So now you can choose the year, class, their manufacturer, car number, and finally, specific liveries for that team. Okay, they're needing it Hopefully up. Hopefully, you like the improvements here. Number five, content update. Come on, this is what we're talking we've about. Added all of the remaining 2024 hypercar liveries, as well as included the 2024 LMP2 skins to give even greater choice in opponent variety. Additionally, we've improved the force feedback normalization, so there shouldn't be such a variation in strength across the cars. Hey, 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 I like that. I like that because I've noticed that in the Monza Ultimate. You jump in different cars, you definitely have to start fiddling with the force feedback, man. Like some cars are just naturally feel heavier on the wheel. Other cars feel like super light. Like for me, like whenever I try like the Corvette, you know, I, I'm always in the GTE. But whenever I try the Corvette, this kind of feels a little bit weird, you know. Even to this day, I haven't really got the feeling that I get driving the Ferrari or the Porsche. It always feels a little bit off to me, so... I kind of stay away from that car. And normally, I'm someone who likes to try out all the cars, you know, but I kind of stay away from the Corvette because it just feels a little weird. But if they're going to try and normalize the way how the um, force feedback feels for all the cars, um, so you don't have to make too many changes and stuff, then I'm, I'm cool with that. Second pack of the 2024 season pass arrives in this release as well. The 2024 hypercar grid is now complete with the addition of the incredible sounds of the A424 Alpine LMDH car and the plucky independent entry of the Isotta Freschini. They've both been built with a lot of... Hey man, I need to start driving these hypercars, bro. The manufacturers. We can't wait... Hey, coat is looking... Coat is looking the decent. Featuring in pack two is the Circuit of the Americas in Texas, USA. The circuit made its reappearance in the wet calendar just a few weeks ago and adds a dynamic track to the growing roster. It's dynamic track, eh? Climb and drop, the fast flowing sector one and a technical and challenging sector three will be hard to master. Number six, miscellaneous. Of course, there are numerous things that we have refined and improved as well. An example of this is the car seat position save. This is now per car and not global. We've also tweaked the AI so they're Interesting. more at their fuel management logic and it'll also drive slower back to the pits after a session. For more details on all of the tweaks and improvements, make sure you read the full release notes. All right. What's next? We're working on private servers with our friends at SimGrid. So Yo, hold on. server through the site or racecontrol.gg, which in time is intended to become a destination for all of your Studio 397 news. Yo, listen, this is what I'm talking about, mate. This is what it needed. Basically, what they're saying is if you're not on SimGrid or you haven't been on SimGrid or platforms like LFM before, basically, we're, we're going to be getting not just the, the ranked races that you get on the site. It looks as if they're going to be doing races through SimGrid, which, again, is pretty similar to LFM. All the people are on ACC, you know what I'm talking about. So, yo, this is, bro, this is what builds a community, mate. I'm telling you, this is what this game needed. It's definitely, um, the future's looking bright, lads. It's looking bright, mate. As well as interacting with your race results, schedules, and more. With this, we're really looking forward to seeing League start up on the sim. So yes. So we'll also be delivering a broadcast overlay alongside this to support those. Just take my money. Listen, I'm telling you, lads. This is where it starts, mate. This is where it starts. Once you can, once you get the the broadcast, once you get the stuff for the broadcast, and you get these big websites involved, this is where you're gonna start seeing a lot of people will jump over to this game, man. This is what you need to build the community. I've said this before. All this game really needed was like a proper multiplayer. Now you're getting SimGrid involved. I'm sure once they they open up servers and stuff, you're gonna get LFM. You probably get AOR, and then that's what just creates, you know, a fusion of people jumping on this game. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it, mate. We need it. We need it badly as well. I'm telling you, lads. I'm telling you.
those communities that want to capture and share their racing live. I can't give you a super accurate time estimate, but it is likely I don't to be do available that. before the end of the year. Sheesh! Online championships is a feature we're actively developing. This will allow racers to participate in a series of connected races for championship glory. The purpose is to increase the meaning of some online races. Okay. Daily races will continue to be available for more casual pickup races. When signing up... Wait, wait. I wonder how that's going to work. So we're going to be getting like... So I take it's going to be like a, a race. I don't know if it's every week or something, but going to be getting a race, but it's going to be part of a championship. You say you compete every week. And what you what you what you winning? You winning some prizes? What we doing? I this sound I like what I'm hearing, man. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I like what I'm hearing, bro. Up for a championship, you must select a car that you'll stick with for the entire season. For each round, you'll be given a number of attempts to score points. For the more advanced championships, you'll only get one shot. Aye. Rank impact will be increased in these races and in future. The championships are intended to be used to qualify for esports competitions mm, for the 24 hours of Le Mans virtual. Bro, I knew it, bro. I knew the 24 hours of Le Mans was coming to LMU, bro. I knew it, mate. Look at this. Look at this guy, David Perel, in the background. Look at him. <laughs> this guy's in everything, mate. He's got his hands in everything. I'm telling you. Hey, I, I, I'm not going to lie, though. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. They're moving. They're moving, bro. They're moving. They're not staying stack. They know what they got to do. They're moving. The game has got a tremendous foundation, in my opinion. I, I know some people weren't happy about having to pay for DLC before the game was actually out. Me, personally, if the product's good enough, then I'm willing to support it. So I don't really care that much. But I like what I'm hearing, bro. I like it a lot. When the GT3s come, you know, this game technically is not really about the GT3s. It really should be about, you know, the, the hypercars. But... You know, it makes, to me, the feeling that I get with, with Le Mans Ultimate is that there's an interest in the different classes. On ACC, we do not care about anything else apart from the GT3s. The GT2s, we don't care. The GT4s, we don't care. All the other classes, bro, no one cares about. But with LMU, there's definitely a portion of people that love the hypercars. There's some people that definitely love the GTEs. And then I'm sure... Once the GT3s come out, there's going to be a lot of us switching to the GT3. So I don't feel like the endurance races, the mixed, uh, mixed car class races are going to be sort of like top heavy. Like all the fast guys are going to want to go in the hi hyper cars. I feel like you're going to get a good mix, you know. On ACC currently, whenever there's a, a mixed sort of multi-class race, you kind of get all the fast guys in one place. And then all the other classes are just mixed with guys that are just at a different level of ability, you know. Whereas this feels like you're going to get really strong fields, whatever genre of car you tend to pick. And I like that. I like what I'm hearing, bro. This feature is intended to be available for subscribers, which will fund the increased server usage and also stewarding oh. of racing incidents in these events. Well, we said funding. <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> What's he on about? Let me go back. Stewarding of racing incidents. Oh, go back, go back. Go back. hours of Le Mans Virtual. This feature is intended to be available for subscribers, which will fund the increased server usage and also stewarding of racing incidents in these events. Don't worry, do not panic. This is not going to become a subscriber only game, but there are major uplifts to the experience that do require further investment. It's okay, up to okay. Us to make this a valuable option for those that want to further support Studio 397 and get more from the LMU experience. See? I can deal with that. I can deal with that, lads. I can deal with it. If you really, if you really like what you're playing, then you can choose to subscribe. You can choose to fund. And there's a lot of websites that do that. A lot of websites that are free. But if you want to join their Patreon and help them create a great game, then why not? So I don't mind that. I, for me, I have a problem where it's like, do this or else you can't do that. That's where I have a problem. But... What he's saying is, is literally no different from what we see with a lot of the websites, LFM, AOR. A lot of these big websites, they have their patrons where you can support if you want to support, you know. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with that. Virtual reality. Development is still happening behind the scenes. It's still not in a full release state. But for those of you that actively use the hidden option, 
we have included a number of improvements for you to trial. Remember the netcode improvements we made in June? They've been performing well in public and allowing us to progress with one of the next great... Co is just looking kind of sexy, I ain't gonna lie. ...driver swaps and teams. More on that when we can, but it's likely to be early next year when we have a version that's available for the public. Community survey. And a huge thank you to the over 4,000 of you that participated in our community survey, helping us refine what our... What survey? I missed that. ...for the future of Le Mans Ultimate. We what survey, man? ...that championships were your most requested feature, and there's a lot of interest in some American series tie-ins. We'll see what we can do. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, don't... <laughs> hey, don't do this to me, bro. Don't do this... Hey, don't get my hopes up, brother. Don't do it. Because... Listen, I told you guys, I told you, this game has got scope for growth, man. I made the video the other day about the, the lost potential of ACC, bro. Listen, listen, these games, they've, they've got a lot of scope for IMSA. They want to bring through IMSA, potentially. This is all potential, obviously, but, bro, listen. What like Asian Le Mans series? This is what people are people are asking for. I like the look of this man. They're being considerate, and you know they're at a stage where they've had a they've had a chance to check out the landscape and see what everybody else is doing. They know what people want, man. It's just up to whether they can um, deliver it or not, or whether they're gonna create a fan base that wants to support it or not. One thing I will say is, do you remember back in the day, Project Cars, bro? Project Cars was basically like a a fan supported game and pretty much the things that were possible with for, for project cars was because a lot of people literally supported it. So hey, listen. Get your wallets out, lads. We're having a good time. It's also heartening to hear how many people want a console version. And this is something Yo. we still target, but can't share anything concrete yet. We know our advanced simulation can run on current consoles. And with the recent announce of PlayStation 5 Pro, we have plans to leverage this before. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Let me ask you guys a question quickly. Who in their right mind is paying 800 quid for a PS5 Pro when you could just buy a PC, bro? Who? Why would you do that, man? <laughs> Why would you pay 800 quid for a PS5 Pro when you can buy a PC? Because if you get a PS5 Pro, you still can't like go into the software of your will and change stuff. All right? You can't go into the software of your brakes and change. Like you can't do nothing. So just why? Don't get their hopes up, man. Don't get their hopes up. I'm telling you. Like, look. I want the guys on console to have fun too, right? I want them to have fun as well. But 800 quid for a PS5 Pro is extortion. That is thief. That's a thief right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't do it. Don't do it, mate. If you've got 800 pounds to spare, get yourself a PC. Do not let Sony rip you off, mate. I'm telling you, it's, it's diabolical behavior, bro. Performance in future. But right now, our focus is on continuing to develop a solid PC simulation. Pricing changes. Oh, oh. A heads up to those of you still on the fence. We released the game at an introductory price that would be the lowest during early access development. On the 1st of October, to reflect the new features we brought to the game, that will be increased to 35 euros. So you've got a bit of time to jump in after the update before the price goes up. We believe this is still an incredibly accessible price, and our objective is to get as you should have bought it early as possible. Thanks again for your support and for your help on this journey. I hope to see you on the track soon. You're welcome. All right, all right, all right. Oh, it looks good. All right, guys, that's it. What are we thinking, man? What are we thinking? Because I, I don't know. That, that, that stuff about SimGrid and, you know, the, the online championships where it's going to, where you can qualify for like esports stuff and the Le Mans, the virtual Le Mans, bro. Listen, 
I know a lot of people don't know how big that stuff is going to be, but that is going to be big, brother. I'm telling you, that stuff is going to be big. You know, you're going to probably have the best teams in the world. You're going up against the best drivers in the world. Mate, it, it, it's, I actually think it's time to start grinding Le Mans Ultimate. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like it's time day to day to start grinding Le Mans Ultimate because, you know, once, once all these changes happen, you don't want to be getting on late, bro, and trying to find your feet when there's people already, already there, you know? So, hey, Le Mans Ultimate, the, the grind's on, mate. The grind is on. I'm there. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I think this update's coming on the 24th of September as well. So that's what, next week? And I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it, bro. Definitely looking forward to it. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Cryptic TMG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.